Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button. Please do subscribe. Today is Friday morning. The sun's out. It's a lovely day. And again, I'm afraid I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm keeping safe. I'm keeping in my flat. I'm taking my dog for a walk and I'm just minding my own business. But it seems like as soon as you're, you know, I'm trying to, to prove to people that there's nothing wrong with me. Um, I get, I, you, you know what I mean? Things annoy people. They annoy everybody. And when you're like trapped indoors most of the day, like myself, you can get agitated, annoyed and even angry. And um, it's your own home. If you want to let off steam and you're not doing anybody any harm, um, it, yeah, you need to get that anger out, but you don't get it out on other people. You don't go outside and scream and shout. You don't draw attention to yourself. So if the windows and the doors are shut and you need to scream, you need to yell, you need to get that negative vibe out of your body, then that's okay to do so as long as you're not harming anybody else, right? nothing wrong with that you can't always keep it all in all the negative comments or the negative nastiness you do have to vent and let it out somewhere now in the safety of your own home when there's nobody else about just letting out a yell like a couple of expletives and maybe giving a a, a boxing um, a, a, you know a boxing ball a, a good old punch but not harming yourself or anybody else, but just letting that out. We all can't be expected to, to, to hold everything in. You know, I mean, day after day after day after day, you take and take and take a lot of negative comments, a lot of nastiness, a lot of neighbour nuisance, and then you have to let it out, because if you keep it all in, you're going to make yourself ill. So just... You know, now and then I have a day where I just let it all out. Let it all out in the safety of my own flat. Just let it out. Let it out. Get it out. So, I've uploaded a video where, where I was contented. I was happy. I was talking normally. I was minding my own business. And then all of a sudden... Um, the lady next door is obviously hoovering, hoovering. My mum likes to hoover. I, I don't. I'm not very good at housework, to be honest. I don't like it, but my mum likes to hoover. So next door was hoovering, and her dog was barking. So she had the balcony door open, and the dog was barking. The sausage dog was barking. Right, so we're going to go back to when I met this Charlie, which I've been avoiding like the plague, and I don't go into the co-op in the morning. I don't go into the co-op in the morning anymore. If I need to go into the co-op, it's usually later on. So, the last time I met Charlie, the lady next door had her dog barking for about 10 minutes, this sausage dog was barking for 10 minutes and it pissed me off. So I went out earlier than I normally did and I, I went onto the field and that Charlie was on there with his black cap and his clothes that were the He used to wear the same clothes every day, red jeans, like red jeans, brown scuff shoes, a black grey bucket hat and a leather old jacket with this white skinny dog so her dog starts barking next door because she's hoovering and this young lad with glasses now charlie is 60 he's 60 he told me he was 60 something so there's a young lad with glasses walking a dog like charlie's a very thin dog and Charlie is an old man, right? I'm a woman and Charlie was an old man that, that, that I got to meet on the field. 
So when this lady next door, she's done it twice, and I've gone out after the dogs barked, that Charlie's been on the field. The one that touched me inappropriately, and I don't, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of it. The dog's barking now. I'll show you. This is what happened when I met Charlie the other, the other time. Iceland's just delivered. That's not to me because I've I've had a um, Tesco delivery yesterday. So this is what's going on where I live at the moment. This has been going on for over ten minutes. Ten minutes of this. Now I had a Tesco delivery yesterday, a Tesco delivery. So I've had over 10 minutes of continuous dog barking by the dog next door. Last time I went out early and I met this Charlie on the field and I was made a laughing stock because the builders were laughing because I didn't actually meet Charlie the last time it happened. I went onto the field first then Charlie came onto it and then I tried to avoid him like the plague so I was walking around the field while he was walking around with his white dog. I came back off the field and then everybody was laughing because they thought that was funny. And it's not funny when a man touches a woman and you tell him not to do it and you say no and he does it again, it's wrong. But I felt humiliated. I felt dirty and I didn't like what was being done to me and, and, and I don't want it happening again. But twice that dog has barked next door, I've gone out and that bloke has been on the field and I'm not interested in him. He said he liked me in my shorts, right? And I've deleted people off of Flirt Finder which have given me the same messages as that guy did. I like you in your shorts. He's a lot older than me. I'm a woman, as you can see, and I felt violated because he did something to me that I didn't want him to do. And it wasn't sexual as in he touched me down below or he touched my breasts. He put his tongue down my throat and he kept holding my hand when I didn't want him to. I said, no, Charlie, no. And then he did it again. And I don't want to get put into a position where I'm in that position with a man on the field when I'm there to walk my dog. Not to be inappropriately touched. Right? When a woman says no, she means no. And then I've got every right to call the police if I'm saying to somebody no and they do it again. Right? I feel I'm being bullied by the neighbours. That's how I feel. I'm just stating how I feel. I feel I'm being bullied by my neighbours. That dog is barking where I rest in my bedroom. That's where I sleep and I rest. So that dog is barking next to my bedroom for over 10 minutes. Right? I can't relax. I can't lie in my bed. I have to get up. And why should I go out and get violated? I don't want to. I want to sit in my flat and rest. Right? I don't want to go outside. I don't want to get angry. I had a Tesco delivery yesterday. I've got food in the fridge. I'm quite happy by myself, minding my own business. And then I've got 10 minutes of dog barking. Right? Making me feel like I've got to go outside in my own flat because I can't sit and rest in my bedroom when I don't feel well. So I'm still in my flat, I'm not angry, but I'm, I'm just saying, the last time, one of the last times I met Charlie, I mentioned the dog next door barking. This is not a game, this is my life. I don't 
want that Charlie. I want to be by myself. If I can't be with someone that I choose, I'd rather be alone. Is that okay with you? Is that okay? And it wasn't two men together. I'm a woman. Because the last time I went into the co-op, Kim said to me, who are you speaking to? Is that your boyfriend? And if it was my boyfriend, I'm a woman. And it's none of her business anyway, who I'm speaking to on the phone. Stop playing games because you're not going to get anywhere with me. You're not. You have two new messages. First new message received yesterday at 7.26 p.m. Hello, Jeanette. It's me. I'm Jennifer speaking to you from my landline phone to you, Jeanette, this evening. Wishing you good night and God bless and I'll give you a telephone call tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep and uh, as, as I said, I'll give you a telephone call tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Message deleted. Next new message. Received today at 9.34 a.m. Good morning, Janessa. Just giving you the usual daytime telephone call. I'm speaking a little bit awkwardly because I'm not feeling too well again today, but uh, I don't want to bother you. You know that. But I hope you're all right. I hope you have a good day. And I hope to see you on Monday or Tuesday of next week. And thank you for coming up to see me this Tuesday. Thank you very much. Bye for now. I'll phone you later on. Bye. So after my mum rings this morning, and I don't answer the call, I put it on to answer phone, my mum tells me that she isn't well. So the time of the phone call is when the dog started barking continuously. When my mother Hello. Hello. Hello, it's just Cara calling from EE, Pierce Gulf Provider. How are you today? You okay? Are you calling from Wigan? Yes, I'm okay and I don't want to speak to you, thank you. Jokes about me, you go ahead. 
Go ahead if it amuses you, but I'm nobody's puppet. Nobody tells me what to do or dictates what I wear or where I go. If you want to make silly phone calls, make silly phone calls, but I'll put the phone down on you. Do you understand? Good. Wigan. How desperate to make fun of somebody. And I'm telling you now, I'm not my mother. My mother's 77. And I'm not Jennifer, I can assure you. And I wouldn't tolerate what my dad did to my mother for 54 years either. And don't start on me, because you're picking on the wrong one. See you later.